Nathan's sister exclusively told the U.S. Sun that after the terrifying incident with her younger brother in her Las Vegas home, she went to the hospital and learned she had suffered a fractured jaw in the attack. She claimed, I went to the hospital after and got x-rays. I have a fractured jaw. The former teen mom star spent nearly a week in the Clark County Detention Center after his arrest for domestic battery by strangulation. As part of the judge's decision to release Nathan, 35, on bond earlier this week, he must submit to heavy monitoring, including wearing a GPS tracking device. They will monitor him and make sure he isn't drinking now, which is good, his sister added. The U.S. Sun has reached out to Nathan for comment. Just last month, Nathan was arrested for driving while under the influence in Florida after cops were called following a fight between him and his wife, Mayoyola. Nathan's sister previously claimed that the father of two's drinking has led to a dangerous pattern of behavior for him and that he desperately needs help. He tried to kill me, his own sister, Heather claimed of her brother in an exclusive interview with the U.S. Sun. She claimed he had been staying with her and her husband, who was a friend of Nathan from their time in the military. My husband went out of town yesterday, and Nate had been sober at least a week, so he decided that he was going to drink immediately, as soon as my husband left. That's when the threats and everything started. He said to me, Well, you know who is not home to protect you. He would not let me leave the house. He came across the kitchen, and he started doing what he does to all women. He started choking me, Heather said, referencing another of Nathan's arrests this year, this one in February, also for domestic battery by strangulation in Florida. The Florida charges against Nathan were ultimately dropped after the victim refused to cooperate with the investigating police. He threw me on the ground and got on top of me and told me I was going to die, that he was going to kill me. In between sessions of him choking me, because he's trying to make me black out, I said, Nate, I'm your sister, how can you do this to me? And he's like, I don't care, you're going to die. Finally, when he stopped choking me for like the fifth time, I put my knees to my chest as best as I could and kicked him across the room and ran out the door. Heather said at first she tried to see if the police possibly wouldn't arrest the father of two. First I tried to even see if they wouldn't arrest him, to just let Veterans Affairs take him, but the marks on me were so severe that they said they didn't have a choice. They said that even if I did say, I didn't want him to go to jail, they can't just slap him on the wrist. They said he has to go to jail now, they arrested him on the spot and it's so hard to see your little brother go through that. But at the same time, he wasn't caring about me when he had his hands around my neck. As for her own immediate future, Heather said there is an automatic temporary restraining order in place connected to Nathan's domestic violence arrest. While Heather struggled to see her brother arrested, she believed the situation she was in with him could have turned deadly. He really tried to kill me. I literally got myself into a situation where he was not going to stop. He told me I was gonna die. He told me it was going to kill me.